Good morning, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Now this video is gonna be something that I haven't done for two years and that is a complete breakdown of my entire record collection. And it's gonna be a total bitch to edit but I haven't done one in years and I've bought lots and lots of records in that time and I think it'll be fun to work out exactly how many records I now own. And just before I start, if you wanted to pick up a copy of my own debut EP on vinyl, her, then the link will be in the description for the pre-orders which are now open and thank you to those who have already pre-ordered. So this is the collection. Now this is an eight cube Kallax unit. So there are four here and then there are another four further down. We'll get to those later on. And yep, I really am that short. Now it's all already ordered. The way I organize my records is that it's alphabetical. The top section is arranged so that these are all my kind of general everyday frequently listen to new release records from, you know, pop bands, rock bands, whatever. The second section are my box sets. The third section are my film scores. Below that, we've then got my collection of classical music and then charity shop records that I don't really listen to, but I have for some inexplicable reason. And then my 10 inch collection and then my seven inch singles. And we're gonna go through every single one of those today. So let's not make this video any longer than it has to be and just get into it. I'm gonna try and make this edit as smooth and as brief as possible. So starting with the A's, Adam, Seconds or Acorns, Aha, Hunting High and Low, Alan Partridge, Knowing Me, Knowing You, Alt-J, An Awesome Wave, Alt-J, This Is All Yours, Anathema, Weather Systems, Anathema, Untouchables, Parts 1 and 2, Angels and Airwaves, Love, Parts 1 and 2, Aqua, Aquarium, Aqualung, Ten Futures, The Sound of Arvo Pet, Astronomy, There Before You, EP, Bastille, Bad Blood, The Beatles, Abbey Road, Benjamin Francis Leftwich, Last Smoke Before the Snowstorm, Benjamin Francis Leftwich, After the Rain, Behaving, Self-Titled, Blink-182, Enema of the State, Boards of Canada, The Campfire Head Phase, Bombay Bicycle Club, So Long, See You Tomorrow, Boniver, Forever, Forever Ago, Boniver, Self Titles, Boniver, Blood Bank, Boniver, 22 A Million, I quite like Boniver, I don't know if you could tell, Bon Jovi, New Jersey, Brand New, The Devil and God Are Raging Inside Me, Brian Eno, Reflection, Carly Rae Jepsen, Emotion, Carpenters, The Singles, The Cat Empire, Self Titles, The Chainsmokers, Collage, Chet Baker, Sings and Plays, The Cinematic Orchestra, Muffler, Coco Rosie, Grey Oceans, Coldplay, Ghost Stories, Chuck Berry, Original Oldies, Crushed Beaks, Scatter, The Church, Further, Deeper. Daughter, If You Leave. Daughter, Not To Disappear. Daughter, Music From Before The Storm. Death Cab For Cutie, Narrow Stairs. Death Cab For Cutie, Transatlanticism. Death Cab For Cutie, Kintsugi. Death Cab For Cutie, Thank You For Today. I also quite like Death Cab For Cutie. Delta Spirit, Into The Wide. Disclosure, Caracal. Don McLean, American Pie. Iron Audi, In A Time Lapse. Illuvium, False Readings On. Foles, Holy Fire. Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, Gay Divorce and Top Hat. F me, that's one cube done. This is gonna take all night. Gazelle Twin, The Entire City. Gautier, Making Mirrors. Hammock, Asleep in the down lights. Hammock, maybe they will sing for us tomorrow. Hammock, everything and nothing. High highs, cascades. Hillsong United, wonder. Heim, days are gone. James Blake, overgrown. The horrors, five. Hundred waters, self titles. Itch, manifesto, one and two. Jimmy Eat World, bleed American. Jimmy Eat World, chase this light. Johan Johansson, Orfe. Johnny Coppin, get lucky. John Lee Hooker, birth of a legend. John Mayer, born and raised. John Mayer, the search for everything. John Hopkins, immunity. John Hopkins, singularity. Justin Bieber, purpose. And I really don't give a shit what you think of me. Kafka Katamura, nothing to everyone. Keaton Henson, dear. Keaton Henson, birthdays. Keaton Henson, romantic works. Keaton Henson, kindly now, and I've actually got two of those. Keep Shelley in Athens, now I'm ready. Chiasmos, swept EP. Chiasmos, self-titled. Kings of Leon, come around sundown. Kiss Away Trail, breach. Cone Sound, sanctuary EP. Lights, midnight machines. Lana Del Rey, ultra violence. London grammar, if you wait. London grammar, truth is a beautiful thing. Man without country, maximum entropy. The Middle East, I want that you are always happy. Milk teeth, vile child. The mind Minor birds, lovers know. The national boxer. The national alligator. The national high violet. The national trouble will find me. And the national sleep well beast. I'm quite a big fan of the national. Natronics, Mr. Divine. The neighborhood, wiped out. Nightwish, bye bye beautiful. Nightwish, wishmaster. Nightwish, endless forms, most beautiful. Nils from spaces. The actual cover art isn't there at the moment because it's currently hanging on my wall in a picture frame. Nils from all melody. Right, we've successfully navigated the first two cubes. Now it's onto the third. Nova Heart, self titled. Of monsters and men beneath the skin. Oh wonder, self-titled. Oh wonder, ultra life. Olaf Arnold's For Now I Am Winter. Olaf Arnold's The Chopin Project. Trans Friends, An Evening with Olaf Arnold's and Nils Fram. Olaf Arnold's Island Songs. Olaf Arnold's Remember. Olaf Arnold's Late Night Tales compilation. And yeah, I'm a big fan of Olaf Arnold's. Owl City, Ocean Eyes. Owl City, All Things Bright and Beautiful. Paul Thomas Saunders, Beautiful Desolation. Peter Broderick, Float. Portishead, Dummy. The Postal Service, Give Up. Pharrell Williams, Girl. Radiohead, A Moon-Shaped Pool. Rick Astley, Whenever You Need Some. Body. Ray Morris, Unguarded. Riverside, Love, Fear, and the Time Machine. Rory Gallagher, Blueprint. School of Night, Transgressive. Sea of Bees, Songs for the Ravens. Shine 2009, Our 
examination. Smog, the doctor came at dawn. Sky sailing, an airplane carried me to bed. Slow dive, self-titled. Talk talk, spirit of Eden. Simon and Garfunkel, bridge over troubled water. Simon and Garfunkel's greatest hits. Simple minds, once upon a time. The Smiths, the queen is dead. Taylor Swift, speak now and shut up. It's great. The temper trap, self-titled. This will destroy you, self-titled. Throwing shade, fate exclusive EP. Tim Burgess, oh men slash couldn't say it to your face. Tycho, awake. The XX, self-titled. The 1975 sex EP. The 1975 4 EP. The 1975 Music for Cars EP. The 1975 Self-Titled. The 1975 I Like It When You Sleep For You Are So Beautiful. Nah, f*** it. The 1975 A Brief Inquiry Into Online Relationships. And that concludes the first section of my record collection. So those are all of my general, everyday, new releases, favourites. Just like all of my most frequently played records are there. Now we get into the box set section, which is a very, very short section. There are only two. Nightwish, Decades, and the Libertines Anthems for Doomed Youth, which is a thick boy. So the next section of my record collection, which is in no particular order, but is arguably my favorite section, is my film scores and film soundtracks. The Crown Series 1 by Rupert Gregson Williams and the theme music by Hans Zimmer. Braveheart by the late James Horner. Mandy by the late Johan Johansson. Dances with Wolves by the late John Barry. The Garden State soundtrack. The Imitation Game by Alexandra Desplat, and I'm sorry that there's so much glare from my softboxes on these covers, but I can't be bothered to take all of these out of their cases. Into the Wild by Eddie Vedder. Once, music from the motion picture. The Shawshank Redemption by Thomas Newman. Interstellar by Hans Zimmer. Chariots of Fire by Vangelis. The Endless by The Album Leaf. Blue Planet 2 by Hans Zimmer, Jacob Shea, and David Fleming. The Mercy, also by the late Johan Johansson. And the pièce de résistance from my film score vinyl collection are the complete recordings by Howard Short from The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King, and they are absolutely absolutely wonderful and gorgeous and beautiful and very, very thick. And they've all got either five or six records in there as well as posters and linear notes and they're extremely fucking heavy. So I'm gonna put them back now. So we've now successfully completed looking through the first and probably main bulk of my record collection, but we're gonna change shots and have a look at my classical records, my kind of charity shop jumbled mess of records, as well as my seven and 10 inch final. So um, let's have a look at what those are now. Right, so here we are down in the nether regions of my collection. And we'll start with the classical section, which is alphabetized, but loosely. And at some point, it becomes the section of random charity shop finds that I have and listen to occasionally, often for comedic value. And I'm using the term classical music in the same way that an elderly person might use the term pop music to describe a variety of genres. There's a whole mix of different styles and eras of classical music mixed in here, all of which is wonderful. And the reason a lot of it isn't up in the kind of regular listening section is because one of the things I find with classical music on vinyl is that so frequently it sounds a little bit sh and this is usually because unless you buy a sealed copy or it's a new pressing, classical music on vinyl is often very old. A lot of this I found in charity shops or bought from, you know, small record shops. Morgan's Records in London before it closed down was fantastic for classical music. But it's old and the quality will have degraded and there are some classical LPs that I've purchased and have put them on the turntable and they've been completely unlistenable, scratched to hell. Sometimes it's just easier to find a good recording that isn't really, really scratched if you use Spotify. And the purists will say that the whole point of classical music is its dynamic range and you're losing that with streaming, but I would rather sacrifice the, you know, four or five dB of dynamic range that you lose when you're streaming something than have something that's just scratched and awful to listen to, so yeah. Classical section, let's get into it. Music in Gloucester Cathedral, the very same cathedral that I was once a chorister at, and that organ there is all too familiar to me. Beethoven Concerto Number no. 3, Brahms Violin Concerto, Brahms First Symphony, Brahms First Symphony again, but this is the Antal Durati recording, Brahms Requiem, Brahms Fourth Symphony, I fucking love Brahms, Brook Violin Concerto Number no. 1, Vorjak Symphony for the New World, the second movement of which is more commonly known as the Old Hovis advert in the UK, Vorjak Serenade for Strings, Elgar Dream of Durantius, Elgar's First Symphony, Foray's Requiem, which I think is my second favorite Requiem, the first of which being the De Rufle Requiem, which is just absolutely gorgeous, but I don't have that on vinyl yet. Grieg, Piano Concerto in A minor, Mozart's Requiem, Handel's Messiah, The World of Handel, Holst of the Planets, Mahler IV, A Variety of Mendelssohn, Mozart's Symphonies 40 and 36, Mozart's Requiem again, Palestrina's Missa Parpe Marcelli, and I hated seeing this when I was a chorister, but I absolutely love 
all of Palestrina and Talis and all of that early music now. More Palestrina. The essential Pavarotti. Shostakovich Symphony No. 5. Sibelius 5. Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. Tchaikovsky's Overture 1812. Wagner, music from Act 3 of Twilight of the Gods. Some wonderful Victoria sung by Westminster Cathedral Choir. Wagner, The Valkyrie. Wagner, Tannhauser. Eric Porter narrates Peter and the Wolf. Carousel, I think we might be getting into the charity shop and random record selection now. ABBA, The Album, and I f***ing hate ABBA. Music from Dr. Zhivago. The Yeoman of the Guard. West Side Story. South Pacific. The Best of Disney. The World of Gilbert and Sullivan, Volume 2. Oklahoma. West Side Story again. The Sound of Music. ELO, A New World Record. High Society. 120 Greatest Musical Masterpieces, and there are four of them. 30 Great Piano Classics. The Mikado. Yehudi Menuhin Introduces the Instruments of the Orchestra. All Star Festival. The Fabulous Shirley Bassey. Saturday Night Fever. Why do I have so many musicals? I really, I don't like musicals. Classical Piano Favorites. Big Western Movie Themes. 50 Classical Piano Favorites. Some more ABBA. Even more f***ing ABBA. Damien Robinson and the Richmond Sound, September in the Rain. The Glenn Miller Legend. In Person, Nat King Cole. Simple Minds, Music from the Breakfast Club. The London Community Gospel Choir sing the Gospel Greats. The very best of Welsh choirs. Scott's Wahey, which as I mentioned years ago, is just a ridiculous record to own, but is very convenient if you want to get people out of your house after a party. Some John Williams themes. And the absolutely classic Mike Oldfield Tubular Bells. So that's the brunt of the classical and charity shop records. I also have a collection of classical music box sets, which I'll go through now as well. Elgar's Dream of Durantius again, but this is quite special because this is the recording conducted by Benjamin Britten. Beethoven Symphony No. 9, Bult conducts Elgar, Prokofiev War and Peace, Wagner The Valkyrie, and finally this ridiculous like 10 LP box set gateway to the classics. Right, we're on the home stretch now, which is 10 inch and 7 inch records. Thank you so much if you're still watching this. Mode Step Machines, although that's 12 inch. I don't know why that's down there. Olaf Arnold's Living Room Songs, Olaf Arnold's Found Songs, Smetana My Country, Churches Leave a Trace with the Fortet Remix, London Grammar, Hey Now, Bonobo, and Zero Seven Remixes. Only seven inches left now. Keaton Henson, Metaphors, this is one of my most cherished records. Death Cab for Cutie, Tractor Rape Chain, King Creosit and John Hopkins, London Grammar, Rooting for You, Original and A Cappella, Dancing Years, Here's to My Old Friends, Dancing Years, The Places We've Roamed, Dancing Years, We Danced Last Night, Ray Morris, Do You Even Know, Iron and Wine, Grace for Saints and Ramblers, Milk Teeth, Smiling Politely, Number Four out of a Hundred, the drummer Ollie I went to college with, and I can remember getting this when they just had the Impressed. 17 nursery rhymes, Walt Disney's Jungle Book complete with like illustrations and the story in there as well, Sparky's Magic Piano, Stevie Wonder I Just Called to Say I Love You, Christmas Carols, Little Steven Out of the Darkness, Walt Disney's Dumbo again with illustrations and the story inside, Brahms Hungarian Dances numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7, The Sex Pistols, Friggin in the Riggin, Berlin Take My Breath Away, Cutting Crew I Just Died in Your Arms, and finally the very last record, Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby. And there we have it, my entire record collection. Whatever number is showing up there is the number of records that I own. I've also got some 78s there, but they aren't really part of my collection. I just borrowed them from my grandparents because I wanted to do an experiment or something. I don't have a turntable that has a 78 RPM function and I would be precautious about using a stylus that's designed for 33s and 45s on a 78 because they're like proper Bakelite, so. Yeah, that's my record collection. And honestly, if you've made it all the way through to this point, then congratulations. I'm gonna have an awful, awful evening editing this all together with the numbers. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of my collection, if there are things that you love or hate. I mean, I'm almost certainly gonna get a few of you commenting saying how much like I shouldn't have a Justin Bieber record and that my entire music taste is void and null because of that. Like grow up. But no, in all honesty, any comments and feedback are more than welcome. I'd love to know how many records you have in your collection or if there are any favourites for you. Or maybe if we have any unconventional records in common, that'd be really interesting as well. So thank you for watching. There are links in the description to my Instagram as well as my EP if you wanted to pre-order a copy of that on Heavyweight Sky Blue Vinyl, then there'll be a link down there as well as links to the Spotify and you know iTunes for it as well. Actually, speaking of that, I've got five test pressings here of my own record, which I could add to the total list of vinyl that I own. And there'll be a lot more of them coming soon which will add significantly to my number. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you very soon.